Hello and welcome to another episode of Lemur's Corner. I am Lemur and today we are going to be talking about the security system, specifically the security council and the cameras. And we'll see how they work and how to build them. So first things first, let's go ahead and get our council built. Uh, I'm sure I'm saying it wrong. I have a terrible time with that word for some reason. Uh, but you go under structures, tech, uh, and you click on your security, tech severe, surveillance, blah, 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 tech surveillance council. Uh, you're going to go ahead and grab it out. You can turn this baby off and then you can place the actual item down. Uh, now, I want to make a quick note before we actually fully get into this. You want to make your items in here. So if you ex check the inventory, you're going to see you have an opportunity to, to uh, the little cameras in here. So I'm going to transfer over some of our resources to get them in here really quick. All right. So we are back and we have got enough to create actually three of these. Uh, you can hold up to five per surveillance system. Uh, as long as you craft the remotes in here, if you want to switch them to a different uh, a system you just have to put the camera in the system and then go ahead and pull them out and it will consider them attached to that area so what you're going to do is you're going to grab your cameras you're going to place them in your inventory just like this and if you want to you can place them and it shows you which way they're going to look and how they're going to look at it so what we're going to do uh, just for the purposes of this uh, is we're going to place it and you can see how that went that way uh, we'll place another one over on this side right here and then we'll do one more here, just, just for the purposes of uh, messing with this uh, system really quick. So then we're gonna walk up to the system, uh, go ahead and access a camera. Um, you can see I'm on camera three, you can turn it, uh, you can look at it and you can see the camera list. So I can change cameras if I wanted to. So I could do camera one, uh, which was the one that was right by there. So we can uh, hit left shift to not do that, I apologize. Oh, come on, camera's load. They are a little slow. Uh, so we're on camera three. We can use the right button to click it, look through. You can see everything you need to. You can do the other one, check it out, whatever you need to do on there. So the next question is what is the distance that you can do these in? So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and police one of these babies, pick these one of these babies up and see how far we can police it. So we place that camera, and if you can see the thing that looks like the Seattle Space Needle directly in front of us, I placed it on there. Uh, and so what we are going to do is access the camera here really quick and wait for it to load up. And there you go. Uh, there really is no max range on these cameras. You can place them as far or as close as you want to, uh, but it does give you access to checking things out. Looking at what people are doing, you can pay attention to uh, your neighbors and kind of spy on them. It's a lot of fun, and I hope you enjoy that. Uh, so uh, that's really what it's going to be for you guys. If you have any other questions, uh, you have night vision, heat, and all that kind of fun stuff by pressing the C uh, I don't know what it is on PC uh, or uh, on Xbox and PlayStation, but you can change the function just like you would for a tech helmet. So that is the entire remote camera system in here. If you have any questions, please put them down in the comments. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, hit that bell for notifications. And of course, as always, make sure you have a fantastic day and we see you on the next episode of Lemur's Corner.